I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens, ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor, so much happened while you were away. Your friend, Mr. Ollivander, sent me an owl asking for help finding an heirloom wand that was stolen from him. He did, did he? And so I went to the owlery, like he said, and there were all these statues. What do you mean, statues? In the owlery? Yes, which led me to a secret hideout where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Travel is always much more enjoyable with a friend. here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key, and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, 
Now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. I don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well-traveled as you think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then. Be careful, and do not tell anyone where you're going. Get it over with. Over here. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we apparate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. 
Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. Ah, wouldn't mind a plum job at Kringotts. Suit me, sitting around all day. Mind you, I suppose it could get a bit boring. Quickly now! Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalus. Must be something here. Ramrock said so. Most goblins in my family were in the mines at one time or other. Must be something here. Ramrock said so. Someone there. <laughs> Revelio. Orders. Directly from Ranrock. These orders indicate that they're after something to do with names. What names? And why here? I will draw blood. Many goblins have always been antagonistic towards wizard kind, but this is different somehow. Revelio. I can't imagine the goblins know about the trials. They know that something is significant about this place, though. Looks like we found the entrance. It's locked. An unlocking charm. Very handy. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. Revelio.
wonder who this is. With robes like that, it could be anyone. Imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen an enchantment last this long. Revelio. Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Hello, Professor. Did you say Sam Bacar's tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Command it to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. A reservoir of ancient magic, downstairs, near the entry. I've seen this before, in Gringotts and the Restricted section. Revelio. Thank <laughs> you. 
That must have done something. Best have a look around. Rebellion. More traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. These are never a welcome sight. At least I know what to expect this time. These look familiar. Accio.
Revelio. Statues. Protego, Expelliarmus. Leviosa. Making this easy on me. I presume I'm looking for traces of ancient magic. But where? I presume I'm looking for traces of ancient magic. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Thank you. 
So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. to these floors. the look of this. 
What a relief. Another pensive. to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The trout was years ago. But the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. 
It is not your pain to take. Every year, a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morganach, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Hmm. Another memory. Now to find a way out of here. More crystallized stone. That must be the way back to the map chamber. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir, and this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor. Rookwood. You look familiar, sir. I imagine you saw me in the first pensive you accessed, in Gringotts. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter, of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now... Tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest. I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, 
You should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. I should ask Serona at the Three Broomsticks about the goblin she was talking to the day of the troll attack. If it thinks it's got half a chance, a werewolf would be on you like... Before you ask, I'm all out of the new sock, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew wand's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today?
That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. I, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Imelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique. 
And that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humour you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all, built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Success. Too bad. Oh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Oh. Fine, you won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. 
Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albi Weeks. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. You're back with something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome, runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm, how to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. <laughs> 